like and subscribe. Look, it's Jurassic World. We've got two different dinosaurs. We got a Dimorphodon and a Stegoceratops. I used to always call this a pterodactyl, but it's a Dimorphodon. So we're going to open up these dinosaurs and see how they work. If we're not too scared, that is. So this is a Stegoceratops right here. And watch. If you move his tail, his head sticks out. Just like that. That's pretty cool. What do you think about that, Mr. Stegosaurtops? Oh, let's see that closer. His head's in, and it's out. And it's in, and it's out. See, his neck extends. Kind of like a turtle. Hmm. Well, anyhow, our little Stegosaurtops, he's got a beak a little bit like a parrot. Don't bite me now. He's got horns like a bull. He's got like a little shield like Captain America, I guess. He's got these big spikes on his back. I wouldn't want to go for a piggyback ride on him, would you? That would kind of hurt. More spikes on his tail, and then look, more like horns here on his tails. Man, Mr. Stegosaurus, you are a mean-looking guy. <gasps> oh, no, you got hurt. Don't worry, I've got something to make it better. That's right, I've got a Band-Aid, but it's an Elsa Band-Aid. Oh, boy. Sorry, Mr. Stegosaurus. I wish it was like Iron Man or maybe an Avenger. But all we have is Elsa because that's the assistant's favorite. So we're going to put that on you. And hopefully that makes you feel better. Um, just let it go. You can sing that if you want to. That's okay. You can sing it. And you know what? You don't look quite so mean with Elsa uh, and use a Band-Aid. We'll leave that on for one week and then maybe it'll be better. Right? So now we're going to look at our other dinosaur. He's a Dimorphodon. But he kind of looks more like a Pterodactyl. Oh, he's coming to see you. Here's a Dimorphodon. Now watch what we do. We squeeze his legs together. See his legs? And watch. It looks like he's flying. Whoa. And then he's got this thing here on his back. And we push it. And he makes these funny sounds. And he's got a head kind of like an alligator or a crocodile. Um, right? He's got lots of teeth. So he's got a very expensive dental bill. He's got wings. Uh, he's camouflaged. Uh, maybe he goes hunting, you know, in the woods looking for deer and such because he's camouflaged. Um, he kind of looks like a camouflage four-wheeler like that. Um, he's got JW here on his wing. Don't know why. He's got a really long tail that has like an arrow on it. So I guess if he really wanted to, he could just back into things like that. Maybe that's how this guy got hurt. He's just like, Arr. that'd be bad. And, um... Well, you can actually pretend that he's chewing gum, like, you know, chewing gum, that's right, just chewing some gum, flying around, looking for friends, in my camouflage, you know, you, it would make more sense to me that if he was camouflaged, he'd be blue, because, right, if he's in the sky, being camouflaged like this, he kind of stands out, right, so you can see him really well like that, but if he was, like, blue, you wouldn't be able to see him. He'd be like hiding. Maybe he likes to hide in trees. Oh, it'd be harder to see. So those are our two cool dinosaurs. Now again, these are from the movie Jurassic World. And um, if you like dinosaurs, that might, movie might even still be too scary. Oh, we got another dinosaur visiting us. I think our Dimorphodon wants to come say hi. You don't see him because he's camouflaged. You don't see me. You don't see me. Oh, he does. So we have lots of fun with our different dinosaurs. Oh, he's a mean looking guy. Just let it go. Don't don't bite him because he's got a Elsa bandit on. Right? So here they are, our two dinosaurs from Jurassic World. Our Stegoceratops with the movable head. Elsa Bandy not included, and a Dimorphodon that is dressed up like he's from Mossy Oak. Now, let us know which one you like better, and do you like watching the Jurassic movies? I, I kind of like them. They're kind of scary, too. And up here, it says subscribe here. If you subscribe now, you'll be one of the first million subscribers. And you know what that'll make you? 
It'll make you one of the first million subscribers. That's all I've got for you. So make sure you subscribe and give us a thumbs up, right? That's my thumb. So give us a thumbs up saying you like our videos because you, we like it when you like videos. That's cool, right? I like it when you, you like things, and you probably like it when I like things. That's just the way it works. And we've got a spelling word. And our spelling word is dinosaur. D-I-N-O-S-A-U-R. Now, if you type that in the comments and you type it on there and you practice it a few times, you'll know how to spell the word dinosaur. Right. That's right. So you want to tell Santa Claus, hey, what do you want for Christmas? You can write out dinosaur. And hopefully he knows that you want a dinosaur toy like these and not a real dinosaur because, well, if you had a real, a real dinosaur in your house, you'd have a hard time finding a bed that's big enough for him to sleep in. And he'd eat way too much food. He just would eat way, way too much food. So we can't have that. But you can still type dinosaur and tell Santa that you want a dinosaur toy. Okay, everyone, have a great day. Bye. So long. Hey there, everyone. Thanks for watching our video. Now make sure that you subscribe to the Engineering Family so you can see lots of cool videos. In fact, there's another cool video right there. You can select and watch it. I think you're really going to like it. Is it Team Umazumi, Paw Patrol, Surprise Eggs, Frozen, Blade, Masha? There are so many videos to watch.